And so based on this variance, covariance matrix, I want to calculate the correlation. So before we actually attack this problem, I need you to know a couple of things. So the first thing that you need to know, and you already know it from prior videos, is that the correlation of, let's say, AB will be the covariance AB divided by the standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B. So you, you definitely, definitely need to know this formula for your exam. The second thing you want to know is you want to understand basically how a variance-covariance matrix works, or, or, or sometimes we just simply call it a covariance matrix. Okay, so where alpha intersects alpha, where alpha intersects alpha, i.e. this number here, that should be, right, because this is a covariance matrix, this should be the covariance of A versus A, right? But statisticians will tell you that the covariance of A versus A is actually the variance of A, right? That's a mathematical truth. And obviously, where Brava intersects Brava, i.e. Right, that 64 number, that must be the variance of B. So um, basically, if you take that leading diagonal, depending on how many numbers you're given in this table, if you take that leading diagonal here, this will be providing you always uh, the variances, right? Because that diagonal is showing you the covariances of assets versus themselves, okay? So that's going to be the leading diagonal of your variances. Now, obviously, um, where alpha intersects Brava, that's going to be the covariance. So that's the covariance AB. And of course, it doesn't matter in what order you are arranging that, right? Because the uh, covariance relationship is multiplicative, i.e. you can you know, multiply the deviations in any order, but you'll get the same result. So what you're going to say is that this value here is also the covariance AB. And you can see here that they are the same. Okay, so now armed with all this wonderful knowledge, we are able to finish the problem. So what is the correlation AB? Again, pause the video if you want to try it on your own. Okay, so we're going to first of all take the covariance in the numerator, which is 120. The denominator should have the standard deviations rather than the variances. So we need to take a nice big square root here of 2, 2, 5, and 64. Okay, so obviously I'm going to have 120 in the numerator. Now, the square root of 2 to 5, of course, is um, 15, okay? And the square root of 64 is 8. Uh, well, uh, 8 times 15 is 120, so 120 over 120 will leave me with a correlation of 1.